In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. The hour has come near and the moon has split in two. And if they see a sign, they turn away and say, pass in magic. And they denied and followed their inclinations, but for every matter is a time of settlement. And there has already come to them of information that in which there is deterrence. Extensive wisdom, but warning does not avail them. So leave them, O Muhammad, the day the caller calls to something forbidden. Their eyes humbled, they will emerge from the graves as if they were locusts spreading. Racing ahead towards the caller, the disbelievers will say, this is a difficult day. The people of Noah denied before them, and they denied our servant and said, a madman, and he was repelled. So he invoked his Lord, indeed I am overpowered, so help. Then we opened the gates of the heaven with rain pouring down and caused the earth to burst with springs and the waters met for a matter already predestined and we carried him on a construction of planks and nails. Sailing under our observation as reward for he who had been denied and we left it as a sign. So is there any who will remember? And how severe were my punishment and warning. And we have certainly made the Quran easy for remembrance. So is there any who will remember? And Ad denied, and how severe were my punishment and warning. Indeed, we sent upon them a screaming wind on a day of continuous misfortune, extracting the people as if they were trunks of palm trees uprooted. And how severe were my punishment and warning. And we have certainly made the Quran easy for remembrance. So is there any who will remember? Thamud denied the warning and said, Is it one human being among us that we should follow? Indeed, we would then be in error and madness. Has the message been sent down upon him from among us? Rather, he is an insolent liar. Indeed, we are sending the she camel as a trial for them, so watch them and be patient. And inform them that the water is shared between them, each day of drink attended by turn. But they called their companion, and he dared, and hamstrung her. And how severe were my punishment and warning. Indeed, we sent upon them one shriek, i.e. a blast from the sky, and they became like the dry twig fragments of an animal pen. And we have certainly made the Qur'an easy for remembrance. So is there any who will remember? The people of Lot denied the warning. Indeed, we sent upon them a storm of stones, except the family of Lot. We saved them before dawn. As favor from us, thus do we reward he who is grateful. And he had already warned them of our assault, but they disputed the warning. And they demanded from him his guests, but we obliterated their eyes, saying, Taste my punishment and warning. And there came upon them by morning an abiding punishment. So taste my punishment and warning. And we have certainly made the Qur'an easy for remembrance. So is there any who will remember? And there certainly came to the people of Pharaoh warning. They denied our signs, all of them, so we seized them with a seizure of exalted in might and perfect in ability. Are your disbelievers better than those former ones, or have you immunity in the scriptures? Or do they say, we are an assembly supporting each other? Their assembly will be defeated, and they will turn their backs in retreat. But the hour is their appointment for due punishment, and the hour is more disastrous and more bitter. Indeed, the criminals are in error and madness. 
The day they are dragged into the fire on their faces, it will be said, taste the touch of Saqqa. Indeed, all things we, we created with predestination. And our command is but one like a glance of the eye. And we have already destroyed your kinds. So is there any who will remember? And everything they did is in written records. And every small and great thing is indescribed. Indeed, the righteous will be among gardens and rivers, in a seat of honor near a sovereignty, a sovereign perfect in ability. Jazakallah khair, Brother Jamal Richards, for your translation. Uh, inshallah, tomorrow for the Kirat, I'm happy to announce we would have Sheikh Salah al Bukhatir, uh, Salah al Budair. Uh, today you heard him at the Juma Salah, eloquent Qirat. We would have him do the Qirat in the evening 6.20 p.m. session. He is the Imam of Masjid al Nabi Medina. And inshallah in the day after tomorrow session, that is on Sunday the 10th of November, we would have one of the very eloquent Qairis in the world, uh, Sheikh Abdul Fatah at taruti of Egypt, presenting the Qirat. Now we start the formal public talk session. Our speaker for today needs no introduction to many present here, but for those who would not know about him, I present the formal introduction. Dr. Zakir Naik is the president of the Islamic Research Foundation, a medical doctor by professional training. He is renowned as a dynamic international orator on Islam and comparative religion. Dr. Zakir clarifies Islamic viewpoints and clears misconceptions about Islam using the Quran, authentic Hadith and other religious scriptures in conjunction with reason, logic and scientific facts. He is 44 years old. Dr. Zakir is popular for his critical analysis and convincing answers to challenging questions posed by audiences and critics after his public talks. May I interject and say, therefore, tomorrow in the conference session we have no public talk of his, only an open question and answer session starting at the 6.20 p.m. session. In the last 13 years, Dr. Zakir has delivered more than 1,300 public talks in faraway places as USA, Canada, UK, Saudi Arabia, UAE, Kuwait, Qatar, Bahrain, Oman, South Africa, Italy, Mauritius, Australia, Malaysia, Singapore, Hong Kong, Thailand, Guyana, South America, Trinidad and Tobago and many other countries in addition to numerous public talks in India too. He has successfully participated in several symposia and dialogues with prominent personalities of other faiths. Sheikh Ahmad Didat, the late Sheikh Ahmad Didat, the world famous orator on Islam and comparative religion, a pioneer in his field, who had called Dr. Zakir Didat Plus in 1994, presented a plaque in May 2000 with an engraved citation on it, awarded to Dr. Zakir Abdul Karim Naik for his achievement in the field of Dawa and the study of comparative religion. And he went on further to say, Son, what you have done in the last four years had taken me 40 years to accomplish, Alhamdulillah. Dr. Zakir appears regularly on many international television channels in more than 200 countries worldwide. He is regularly invited for TV and radio interviews, hundreds of his talks, Dialogues, debates and symposia are available on VCDs, DVDs and other digital and internet media. Peace TV, and we are, I am told, live on Peace TV now, is his passionate and professional far-reaching presentation of Islam to Muslims and non-Muslims worldwide. He has authored books on Islam and comparative religions religion, the more popular ones being Quran and modern science compatible or incompatible, women's rights in Islam protected or subjugated, concept of God in major religions and 
answers to non-Muslims common questions about Islam. Brothers and sisters, to speak to us today on a vital topic, Al-Quran, should it be read with understanding? May I present before you Dr. Zakir Naik. <laughs> 